So I'm here today, while we wait for slides to come up, to talk about our project that looks at building a digital edition from archived social media content, and that is done within the so-called C21 Editions project that looks at generally at the future of scholarly editing and publishing. And that's a project that is housed between University College Cork and the University of Sheffield and the University of Glasgow. Um, in a second, when the slides come up, I'll walk you through the rest. And I'm just giving you a general introduction. So our elevator pitch is essentially that we're trying to understand where the field of digital scholarly editing and publishing is at the moment, and we're trying to make meaningful interventions, which means we are Oh, this is really complicated. Let's let someone else decide. <laughs> <laughs> I can try my best here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so we're working on two prototypes, and one is the one that I'm going to show you. That is this edition of archived social media content, and then the Sheffield site is also working on using AI in the context of an edition. But today we're, we're talking about archived social media content and how to best present and display it. I, I still have the stick. Do you need to see it? Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, OK. Thanks. Give me one second there. Without that. And so, yeah, we're, so we're looking to do this prototype, and together with the prototype, we're also looking to obviously develop a XML, XML schema. Yeah, that looks good. Great. Um, right. Can, can I go through with this? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So, long agenda, only 10 minutes. I uh, already spent some of them, so I'll try and go through this in reasonable speed. My main thing is that I want to first of all, introduce all the lovely people that work on the project with me, and then secondly, give you an overview of the schema that we have developed together with our theoretical approach on trying to engage with archived social media. So, general introduction to, to where we are, social media platforms such as Twitter and Instagram and all the federated platforms and basically a whole lot of other content provide examples of born digital content but they're difficult to edit using current digital editing practices. We mean that they need a custom approach to that. At the same time, if we managed to have a curated selection that is enriched with editorial comment, that could greatly enhance accessibility and understanding and also future use of archived born digital data for scholarly purposes. And for that, we need the framework that was just mentioned and we want to create a best practice prototype so very generally, again, talking about the challenges of this kind of content. Obviously, social media platforms provide example of born digital content that is hard to edit with um, current editing practices. And that includes that we have to reconsider what critical representation and historical document means if we are talking about born digital content. Um, we'll talk about representation a bit in a second. And also, what does it mean um, documentation, for example. So what is even one element that we're looking to take out and to enrich with our editorial comment? Secondly, and that's borrowed from web archiving, when we're dealing with born digital content, we have many different versions, but we have no definitive original. We don't even have a hypothetical ideal original that we could be working towards. Give you an example, obviously social media content is ephemeral and changes very quickly over time. And it's easy to see how network interactions also form part of the content, so that it is important to capture these changing interactions. At the same time, accessing this data through different avenues gives you different levels of data access. So if you look an in, at an Instagram post in your browser, you cannot see the exact number of likes, for example, versus if you query that through the API, you get the exact number of likes. Versus again, if you export your own data and hand it over to us, such as has happened in the course of this project, then you get yet another layer of data access. So important to note is that the, the way you access your data greatly informs the depth and, and range of data that you will be working with, and that is important for the representation. And then we need, um, according to all this, we need frameworks for and best practices for development 
of these additions. And here's quickly what we want to do. So as I said, um, data access and, and knowledge about the source is very important for us. So we need to be able to describe our sources and we need to be able to possibly layer different sources on top of each other. So you can imagine if you crawl posts and then you crawl them again two years later, the interactions would be different, the replies, replies might be different, and that would greatly inform what data is actually accessible to a user. So that needs to be accounted for. And then we need to somehow extend this notion of the element in the edition. So we also want to capture post metadata, content and network interactions. At the same time, the text, the actual text in the, in the post usually is rather short. So we want to think about, do we just have one comment for a post or do we want to really able, be able to have word by word annotations? And thirdly, be as specific as necessary and as generic as possible. So we're not only trying to make one edition, we're really trying to have some kind of prototype that can inspire others to work in this kind of field. And from there on, I want to quickly go through a high-level overview of, of the data structure that we came up with. So as I said, that is um, an XML-based XML -based schema where we're able to account for different sources by having this source description tag. And that could be a description of the data source, and that could go from it's a manual collection where you go through a short list of URLs and you simply copy and paste it, it could be um, that you use an API to retrieve data, or it could be that um, the data has been exported by the user and handed over to us. For that, we're able to use different sources for the same element, and we can add something that is, could be called layering, could be called depth, so that you can see how a post looked in different sources, and we can somehow account for this problem of having many versions, but not having a definitive original. And then moving on, we also have elements that describe the post metadata, the post content, and the network interactions. Um, because we think all these three elements are vital for actually understanding the post. Uh, in post content, this is where we would do our kind of traditional editing, where we'd have a comment that would describe the post in general. We'd have an editor's note, for example, we, where you would annotate text, images, and videos. And in the post network, we can record the interactions that have uh, been going on with this post. Again, because we're able to relate this back to the source, we could, have, we could always account for this is the data that was obtained through this method at that point in time. Right, and with that, kind of moving on towards what are the best practices that we're trying to do. So we're obviously trying to define um, the scholarly edition for born digital content as an information resource. Uh, we're looking to develop frameworks and best practices for the representation of born digital content in this context. And just by the way, we're trying to redefine critical notions of representation and historic documentation because we think those are quite different in born digital content. And on a technical side, we're developing this um, schema together with a prototype. We're just at the stage of where we're looking to have the first version of this prototype delivered. We hosted two workshops with practitioners and asked them for their feedback and what would they like to see um, for a digital edition of, of Born Digital Content. We have a rather small selection of materials for the edition. So there's a contemporary Irish author who has um, agreed to kind of donate her Instagram data to us. And this is what we're working off for the prototype. And obviously we're also trying to publish the data scheme together with as much documentation as we can possibly do. And moving on, right, moving on to the conclusion. So I was hoping I was able to very briefly outline um, what we believe are the new challenges for scholarly editions working with social media content and born digital content on a wider scale. Um, we believe that there's new frameworks and new best practices needed. And to deliver on that, we're trying to um, develop the schema and develop the prototype which helps to start, hopefully helps to start a conversation about how scholarly editing and scholarly publishing should work to deal with born digital data. And with that, I can only thank you very much. You can invite us, you all to follow us here on our social and I very much look forward to our discussion now. Thank you very much.